Well, I guess if people have been seeing in the papers that there is a debt limit that the United States government uh, <clears throat> is, cannot exceed without uh, approval by the Congress and, of course, the President. And we're approaching that limit uh, rapidly. And <clears throat> right now there's disagreement on um, what to do, the conditions under which that, that debt limit will be raised. Um, Mostly the Republicans in Congress want some commitment on reducing spending. Uh, Democrats uh, want uh, both spending uh, reductions as well as tax increases, and, and the debate is going on uh, as we speak, probably. The Treasury Department says August 2nd is the, the date that they will need to borrow more money at some time, I guess, during that, that the month of August. Uh, I don't think a default will happen for a number of reasons um, because I think both parties, both sides, very much want to resolve something and not uh, have the United States government go into default. Yes, interest rates would spike. Um, and of course whoever's debt was defaulted on would not get payment and, and they would suffer. And there's lots of people who hold U.S. government a debt. Uh, individuals, pension plans, uh, lots of people have their money market funds, have a lot of, uh, of government debt. That gets defaulted on. Obviously, they don't get a, they don't get their money back. They don't get any returns on their investment. Um, going forward, um, U.S. government is going to have to borrow more at some point in the future, um, and um, it's going to make it more difficult um, to borrow. And uh, interest rates would be higher. Um, that means that. Uh, some future taxpayers going to have to pay more to pay back that debt. So um, it's it's not a happy scenario. And but as I say, I don't I don't believe it'll happen. Well, I think markets are worried. <clears throat> they're worried about getting this resolved in the short term. But I think they're also worried about having some credible uh, plan for the United States government <clears throat> to reduce its deficit in. in deficit spending and its addition to debt. Um, there have been signals that for several months that well before this this particular episode um, occurred, there have been signals that credit markets are worried about the credit worthiness of, of the U.S. government. And so I think more than just uh, let's get past this debt limit thing, I think markets are looking for something, some signal that we're going to do something serious about reducing uh, the level of debt that we have in the United States. But I do think there will be some baby steps in that direction where, yes, the debt limit will be raised, but along with that there will be some kind of commitment to uh, reducing spending. And um, so uh, I think that's kind of the way things will play out. In fact, I'm, I'm kind of hoping they'll play out that way because then, then we do get past this particular uh, tricky point that we are, are at, and but also give markets some signal, at least a positive signal, that, that the U.S. government is serious about dealing with its spending and, and uh, uh, debt problem. But we're also in the middle, I think, of a pretty, pretty uh, uh, rigorous debate about how big government should be. Uh, we went through an episode from 2008 to now where government grew pretty substantially. And there are a lot of people who think government should not be that big and want uh, government spending to come down. And there are others who evidently think that uh, more government spending is desirable, growth in certain government programs, and, and that taxes ought to be raised in order, in order to cover this additional additional government spending. That debate is going on while we're talking about the debt limit, so it's sort of coalesced into this, this uh, semi-crisis, I guess. Um, and so I think, I think that's an important point. Uh, it, you know, regardless of what your opinion is, I mean, I think that's where what we're debating.